In this video, we'll be going over how to view histories in FinStack, and also how to create charts and utilize them through the Historian app. While we're at a piece of equipment, we can actually get a brief history by going into the application called Point Graphics. Any point that has histories being trended will have a chart icon that can be clicked on to bring up a quick view of the point's current trend history. You also have the ability to download the history as a CSV, PDF, or JSON file. It's a great way to quickly email the information to your technician or service company. Now another way to view a point's history is through the relative bubbles. If you click on a point that has histories being trended, a history bubble will appear. If you click on that, it will immediately bring up a chart displaying that point's history within the Historian Mini app on the sidebar to the right. If you want to get into deeper details or view a more advanced history display to do some analysis, you can pull up the Historian app. As soon as the Historian app is opened, we'll be given a view of any available charts that have been automatically generated or previously saved for that particular context. And because it is context sensitive, we can see one of our relative charts is available for this VAV. To open the chart, simply click on the one you'd like to view. You can exit the chart by clicking on the gear icon on the top left and selecting the exit option. To create a brand new chart, you can click on the add new chart option. This will bring up a selection of points related to the current equipment, allowing you to choose from which ones you'd like to view. In this case, I'll choose the awk mode, room temp, and room temp set point. If you want to have this relative to all similar equipment, select the relative option. By clicking on the gear, you can go from the mini view to a much larger view by clicking on the launch option. This will maximize the Historian app into the main window. You'll notice that the Historian automatically figures out which points can be compared on the same chart and which ones need their own individual charts. As you can see, the room temp and the room temp set point were similar points, so it placed them both into a single chart to be compared. The awk mode, as a boolean value, was placed in its own chart. At the bottom of the charts, you'll find a timeline with zoom handles that allow you to zoom in and out of the display data. You can even grab the slider and pan through the timeline to see the chart unfold in time. Values can be viewed in two different ways. By default, we have the chart view, but we can also switch over to a grid view if needed. We can also change the history being viewed to daily, weekly, or monthly intervals. Another feature that is available is the chart baseline. This allows you to generate a baseline that can be compared against. In this example, we'll compare this month's data against the previous month. This will then take each of the points and regenerate individual baseline views, allowing you to compare the current history data to the selected baseline data. The series option allows you to customize your chart data even further. For example, we can switch the line view over to an area view, and we can also select how often we'd like the data to be rolled up for each individual chart. The Historian also allows for you to download your chart as a CSV, JSON, or PDF file. Here is an example of what the chart looks like in a PDF file. As you can see, the Historian is a powerful feature built into several parts of FinStack, especially as a standalone app. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for more FinStack videos and to keep up to date with all of our new content. Thanks for watching.